the telecoms sector is ready for a new huge step forward. Growth in this market is expected to continue over the next few years as demand for data services is increasing. Safe and faster connections, the Internet of Things and data storage are critical for businesses and the day-to-day -day life of consumers. How will our ways of communication change in the near future? What new leap is the telecommunications industry preparing? At the Capacity Europe conference in London, the giants of this sector have unveiled the next stages of this revolution. 5G networks, new types of clouds and optical fibre. The standards and performance of the telecoms galaxy are going to be improved to a level unimaginable even just a few years ago. The arrival of 5G broadband, most likely in 2020, will open new revolutionary opportunities. But as complexity often means vulnerability, extraordinary security conditions will be needed. In this context, artificial intelligence will play a key role. We're trying to predict where the market's going. For us, we think artificial intelligence um, its not just a buzzword. It's something that's real, it's coming, it's already being commercialized in several industries, I think particularly the finance industry. 5G, which relies on fiber optic networks, is 10 times faster than 4G and offers lower latency and greater capacity. However, to manage such a complex ecosystem will require greater calculation power and enhanced storage capacity. The technical evolution like 5G and the Internet of Things, for instance, makes the need for intelligence or extra calculation power more and more relevant from a performance point of view, as we will increasingly use sophisticated machines. So, there will still be large infrastructures like the big data centers processing most of the information, but we will also need more intelligence far away from these infrastructures, close to the outskirts of the network. Often considered as the internet tool to guarantee safe financial transactions and originally devised for digital currency operations, Blockchain technology is now finding other new potential uses, like, for example, in the field of data protection. Blockchain is now playing a role in terms of how companies interact, in particular how telecommunications companies do business together, conduct transactions together. So it's an underlying uh, new type of technology that's going to facilitate um, all sorts of different uh, business transactions in the telecommunications space. Since the EU's general data protection regulations came into force, the need to guarantee privacy for individuals has been increasing, along with the need to fight online fraud. Data protection is something that, you know, is, it's a big trend at the moment with GDPR um, coming into place in the European Union uh, and in Europe. It's something that everyone's talking about and our customers at the end of the day want to be able to protect their end users. According to a recent report issued by the world's main international carriers, fraud in the telecoms sector costs around 18 billion euros in revenue per year, with identity fraud one of the most common frauds. International fraudulent traffic costs the telecoms industry more than 50% of its total loss to telecoms frauds. Fraud in international traffic represents the majority, as international traffic is much more expensive than normal traffic. So far, the global industry has not yet found a common ground to face this challenge. My opinion is that we need a global strategy, a strategy of collaboration between the different parties, from the phone operators to carriers and suppliers of the telecoms industry. If everyone collaborates, we could solve the problem, but if everyone works on their own, it's very difficult. The race for the future of telecommunications has started. 5G, the Internet of Things, clouds and fiber optics will be the foundations of a brand new ecosystem.